Good morning. Uh, I'm Councillor Robert Davis, Deputy Leader of Westminster City Council, and I'm responsible for the green flag scheme we have here in Westminster. In 1924, Mr. Loeb brought his wife Myrtle and their three sons to England, initially for a holiday, but it was here they stayed from 1926 to the remainder of his career, renting rooms at this very address. I had the great fortune to be the historical advisor on the film at the King's Speech, now available on DVD and Blu-ray. I'm often asked about the historical accuracy of the film, and I always reply that the core of the story is absolutely sound. George VI wanted only one thing. He wanted to be a good constitutional king, and he achieved that goal with the help and support of his wife, Queen Elizabeth. As you've seen in the film, the king also needed considerable help to make his public speeches, his Christmas broadcasts, and his wartime speeches. And that vital help he got from Lionel Loeb, at which point it's my great pleasure to hand over to Lionel Loeb's grandson, Mark Loeb. Thank you. Thank you, Hugo. Um, this event holds a very special importance for me, um, not just because I'm unveiling a plaque, uh, and I dare say this will be the last plaque I'll unveil, but, um, but because it's the climax of two momentous years for me, my family, but also for all us loads, um, uh, many of whom are here today, in fact, walk um, past this address. I want them to think, not just of Colin Firth and Geoffrey Rush, or the King's Speech, but of my real-life grandfather, and also just as much the countless of people, most of them everyday people, who whom we can say Lionel Logue truly gave a voice. Thank you very much.